हेलो फ्रेंड्स अवर सब्जेक्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हैज प्रैक्टिकल टेन एग्जीक्यूट शेल स्क्रिप्ट बाय यूजिंग इफ स्टेटमेंट्स इफ इज द स्टेटमेंट दैट अलाउज द प्रोग्रामर टू मेक अ डिसीजन इन द प्रोग्राम बेस्ड ऑन कंडीशन दैट ही हैज स्पेसिफाइड इफ द कंडीशन इज मेड द प्रोग्राम विल एग्जीक्यूट सर्टन लाइन्स ऑफ कोड अदरवाइज द प्रोग्राम विल एग्जीक्यूट अदर टास्क स्पेसिफाइड बाय द प्रोग्रामर these are the program outcomes of practical time and these are the practical outcome after completion of this particular practical you will be able to execute and write the shell script by using the if statement if l f i block this control statement allows the shell to execute the statement in the controlled way and make the right choice this is the syntax of the if l block if in square bracket we will write the expression and if that expression is true then the statements will be executed and if the expression is false the else block statement will get executed these are the relational operators used by if control statement minus u eq equal to minus ne not equal to minus gt greater than minus ge greater than equal to minus lt less than minus le less than or equal to this is the syntax for single decision statement this is the syntax for double decision and the syntax for a multiple if condition here the elif block is used to specify the multiple condition and this is the double bracket here instead of using the square bracket we can use the rounded brackets double rounded brackets now we will check how to execute this uh, shell script in the putty interface so to write our shell script we will use vi editor so here i will write vi and the name of the file let us say i will use the name of the file as s1 and here i will specify dot sh if we will specify dot sh it means that this is the shell script file okay now it will give me such a type of file now to write my script statement i will require to be in insert mode for that i will press any one of the command of insert mode for example i so here it will specify insert means we can insert now any statement now my first uh, script is to display the welcome message so i will write the uh, echo statement this statement is used to display the uh, statement to the output device this is like a printf statement of c programming language so whatever the statement that we want to display we will write in this uh, echo statement so this is my statement now i will save this using colon wq and to execute this particular shell script i will use the command sh the and the name of the file here i will need to specify the extension also so this has given me output welcome to nasik so in this way we can write the script where uh, we can write echo statement to display the Uh, any message now we will use some variable for that again i will enter into insert mode and here i will assign some value to the variable let us say 100 and i will uh, print the content of that value with the echo statement value equal to now here i will write dollar name of the value okay so here dollar sign is used to specify the value of that particular variable so i will save this script and will execute this so it will specify me the value equal to 100 that i have stored into that variable now we will read the value from the user for reading the value we are having the statement read so i will write here read 
read and the variable name now before this to give the message to the user we will write the echo statement so that user will enter some number so this is the message for the user enter any number so that user will enter that number and that value will be stored into var variable and we will display that value using echo statement so we will execute this script again so here it will wait for my input suppose i will press the input 45 so that it will give me value equal to 45 so in this way we can write our script to read the value and display it now my, i will uh, perform some arithmetical operation on this value so uh, let us say first enter uh, first number now this first number will be stored into var1 now my next uh, statement is to enter the second number so this will read second number in variable var2 now to perform the arithmetic operation we are required to perform uh, var1 plus var2 okay for that uh, we are having the expression expr so uh, we will write here we will use here one special character backtick and in that our expr statement will execute so value of var1 plus value of var2 will be written here now we will execute this particular script so here i will enter first number second number and here it will give me sum now uh, suppose we want to store the result of this particular uh, addition into variable like sum so I will write here the expr statement so so the addition of var1 and var2 uh, will be stored into the variable sum now here I will uh, display only the uh, result of summation so addition result which is display using the variable sum can be displayed here so we will execute this script so here i will enter first number second number and the addition result is displayed okay now we will add some more arithmetical operation here like subtraction multiplication and division so i will first copy this line for that go into command mode after that yank and paste so any number of time you can paste this so here i will use the next word for that i need to enter into insert mode so expr now here I will use the minus sign here multiplication sign division sign and modular division now here we will update the result variable name and uh, here the multiplication and uh, division sign are having some reserve meaning to cancel that reserve meaning we will use this slash so that the reserve meaning will get cancelled okay now here again I will copy this
so multiplication division and modular division so here i will use the variable for modular division here division and here multiplication so let us execute this script let us say first number is 67 and second number is 4 so that it will give me these results so in this way we can perform any arithmetic operation uh, now we will use our e for statement so for that i will use another file s2.sh here we can write our script now here we will write the program uh, to check if the number is positive or negative for that we will read first number from the user so read num now we know that if the number is less than 0 it is negative and it is greater than 0 it is positive for that i will write if and here the num and here if it is less than 0 for that i will use lt and 0 uh, i will write here in double quotes and after that the close bracket after that then then echo that is if the number is less than 0 echo the number is negative else echo and end of this f block so let us execute this script using sh command so here the number is let us say 6 so it has displayed number is positive and if i will again execute it and enter the minus 3 it will display number is negative now suppose we want to uh display that particular number so i will write here dollar num dollar num here also dollar num so that in the output it will give us that particular number now we will check if the number what if the number is zero so for that we need to write uh, or check whether the number is equal to equal to for that we are having eq if it is zero then we will display number is zero for that we will use elif block here we will write another condition num is less than 0 so that uh, it will check whether the number is 0 first now we will execute this script let us say if i will give 0 and uh, if i will give 5 and uh, if i will give minus 4 5 so it will give negative now let us check another script to find whether the number is even 
or odd for that we know that uh, we have to perform the modular division and if the modular division uh, is uh, giving the remainder as a zero then we will have the number is even so for that I will write enter any number and read that number now I will <coughs> first calculate the modular division so remainder will be calculated using our expr statement and here the num modular division by 2 will be performed and that remainder will be stored into rem variable now we will check the value of that rem variable if it is uh, equal if it is 0 that is equal to 0 then the message should be displayed as number is even so what is the number that dollar num is even else echo dollar num is odd and end of if block so we will save this script and we will execute this using our sh command so we will enter the number 5 it has displayed is odd and we will again execute it it will display number is even now we will have one example of um, double bracket so instead of using the square bread bracket we can have the double bracket for that we will have one script like this if the value of x is 5 so value will be displayed and here I have used ra double round brackets instead of single bracket here we can use our sign instead of that operator okay so we will execute this script that is sh p4 dot sh so this will uh, give us that the number is less than 0 so in this way we can use our if statement to execute the script so this is all about the commands of the practical 10 so thank you